Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to read for you Eating the Alphabet by Louise or Lois Air Alert. That is a difficult name to read because there's lots of silent letters. So the, what do you think this book is going to be about? What's on the book cover? Hmm. Let's see if we have a pear, a watermelon, an orange, a strawberry, some cherries, um, some kind of melon. Uh, what do you think this leafy thing down here is? Mm, that's a hard one. You, you can't see the whole fruit. We'll have to find out in the book what it is. All right. This is eating the alphabet. The first letter is A. Do you have an A in your name? Let's see what kinds of things start with A. There's apricot, artichoke. Artichokes are kind of spiky. Avocados, asparagus. That is a very long word. Can you say that with me? Asparagus. Let's clap that one together. Asparagus. Asparagus. Those are four syllables. That means there is a very long word. Uh, do we know what this one is? I like to eat this one a lot. This one is called an apple. B is for blueberry. Mmm, look at those yummy blueberries. Brussels sprouts. They look like miniature cabbages. Beans. We eat a lot of beets and beans in my house. There's like navy beans, kidney beans, white beans. There are a lot of types of beans you can eat. Beets. Do you know what this one is? I eat this one a lot too. They're like little trees. This one is called, I'm gonna turn the page, broccoli. That one's a broccoli. And we all know this one. This one is a favorite banana. Oh, these ones look like cherries, but they're not. This one is called a currant. And do you know this one? Yeah, that's called corn. Corn. And celery. Celery is this really long one. We normally eat the stalk, which is the main part. And then there's the leaf. Some people eat the leaves too. Cucumber. Cabbage. Cabbages, these big round things. Oh, these are the ones that look like the currants. These are called cherries. Do you know what this orange one is? They're very crunchy. This one is called a carrot. And then there's a white thing that's kind of like the broccoli, but it's white and firm. That is called a cauliflower. This one has the same letter as my name, D D Debbie. D for Debbie. D for date. E, this is also in my name. Do you have an E in your name? E is for endive and eggplant. Does that look like an egg to you? This is called an eggplant because when the, it's a baby eggplant, it's white and oval shaped like an egg. That's why it's called an eggplant. 
F is for figs. The figs, you eat the insides, which have all the seeds. Some people eat the skin too. G, do you have a G in your name? G is for gooseberry. G is for grapefruit. Grapefruits are kind of like really big oranges, but their flavor is a little bit more sour and a little bitter. G is for grapes. Yeah, so you can have like green grapes and red grapes. There's even black grapes. H is for huckleberry. Huckleberries kind of look like blueberries, but they taste a little different. I is for Indian corn. Indian corn is multicolored. That means it has lots of different colors in it. Have you ever tried an Indian corn? Sometimes they come dry in the grocery store and you have to like boil them to make them edible. That means you, once you cook them, then you can eat it. And their flavor is a little bit more gummy or sticky than regular corn. J is for hikama. Can you say hikama? Hikama is crunchy and has lots of water in it. It doesn't have a very strong flavor though. J is for jalapeno. These are words that we got from Spanish. So even though it starts with a J, it has a sound like an H, jalapeno. K is for kumquat. Kumquats are like pretty small little oranges. Kiwi fruit. Have you ever had a kiwi fruit? It's brown and fuzzy on the outside. And when you cut it open, it's green with lots of little black seeds. K is for kohlrabi. Hmm, what letter could this be? It has a line that goes from the top to the bottom and then over. This is called an L. Do you have an L in your name? L is for leek. L is for lemons. L is for lettuce. I like to eat lettuce. I eat a lot of salads. L is for limes. Yeah, limes are kind of like lemons, but lemons are yellow and limes are green. M is for melon. There we saw we saw the melon on the front. There's the melon again. M is for mango. N is for nectar. Nectarine. Can you say that really big word? Nectarine. Nectarine. O is for okra. O is for oranges. O is for onions. Onions have a very strong fumes when you cut them and they can make your eyes water and burn. I like to use onions when I cook. I saute my onions. P is for peach. Peaches are kind of like the nectarines. Let's go back to the N. We'll see what it looks like. Where's the N? Oh, so this is a nectarine and they are smooth on the outside. These are peaches and they're fuzzy on the outside. Their skin is fuzzy. Some people eat the skin and some people don't. P is also for pineapple. Look, this is the same one that was on the book cover. It has the big leaves on top and the very big fruit part. 
attached to it. We only eat this part. We don't normally eat the pineapple leaves. P is for pear. P is for papaya. Can you say papaya? Yeah, papaya. That has a funny feeling when you say it. It's like puffing. P, -p, 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 -p. P is for plum. P is for pomegranate. Pomegranates have little seeds on the inside that you eat. P is for persimmon. P is for parsnip. P is for potato. And P is for pea. P is for peppers. And P is for Pumpkin, yeah. Pumpkins are in season right now because it's the fall. Q is for quince. R is for raspberry. Raspberries are kind of like blackberries, but they're red. R is for radish. These are radishes. They're like little beets. R is for rutabaga. R is for rhubarb, rhubarb. Rhubarbs grow really, really big. That means they get really big, like this big. So when they start growing, they're only little and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger. They, get, they can get really, really big and take up a lot of space. R is for radicchio, S. It's like a snake. S is for Swiss chard. S is for spinach. Spinach is really good to put in a salad or in your smoothie. It makes it extra healthy. R is for, can we guess what this one is? What kind of shape does that look like? It starts from the top and it goes down and over and down and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. Hmm, what kind of shape could that be? Yeah, it kind of looks like a star. This is called a star fruit. S is for, these are a favorite of mine too. It's red and it has a little leaf at the top and lots of little seeds growing on the outside. This is called a strawberry. Strawberry. T is for turnip. This is a turnip. <clears throat> T is for tangerine. Tangerines are kind of like oranges or satsumas. T is for tomato. U is for ugly fruit. Ugly fruit kind of looks like a grapefruit, but it's a little less round and a little bit more bumpy. V is for vegetable marrow. I have never had one of those before. W is for watercress. W is for, do you know this one? Yeah, this is called a watermelon. It has a lot of water in it. X is like, X is for zigwa. Hmm, the zigwa kind of looks like a watermelon. Y is for yams. Yams are kind of like sweet potato. And Z is for zucchini. You see the zucchini? Zucchinis are a type of squash, kind of like a cucumber. The end. This is the back. This is the front. Eating the alphabet. I hope you enjoy that. Until next time. Bye.